Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we'll be discussing an important topic that affects millions of people worldwide, financial security against fraud. Financial fraud can have devastating consequences for individuals and families, leading to loss of money, identity theft, and even ruined credit scores. But with some simple steps, you can protect yourself and your finances from fraudsters. So let's dive in. Section 1. Understanding Financial Fraud First, it's important to understand what financial fraud is and how it works. Financial fraud is a type of white-collar crime that involves the use of deceit or deception to obtain financial gain or benefits from unsuspecting individuals or organizations. It can take many different forms, including identity theft, investment fraud, credit card fraud, and phishing scams. Identity theft is a common type of financial fraud where someone steals another person's personal information, such as their name, address, social security number, or credit card information, and uses it for fraudulent purposes. The thief may open new credit accounts, take out loans, or make unauthorized purchases, leaving the victim with the financial burden. Investment fraud is another type of financial fraud where someone convinces an individual to invest in a fraudulent scheme or company promising high returns. These schemes often involve promises of quick profits with little risk, but they are almost always too good to be true. Ponzi schemes are a common type of investment fraud where new investors' money is used to pay off earlier investors, creating the illusion of profits and attracting even more investors. Credit card fraud occurs when someone uses someone else's credit card information to make unauthorized purchases. This can happen when someone steals a credit card or obtains the information through a phishing scam or other means. Once the thief has the credit card information, they can use it to make purchases online or in person, leaving the victim with the bill. Phishing scams are fraudulent attempts to obtain personal or financial information by posing as a legitimate company or institution. The scammer may send an email or message that appears to be from a bank, credit card company, or other organization asking for the victim's personal information, such as their username, password, or social security number. Once the scammer has this information, they can use it for fraudulent purposes. Protecting yourself from financial fraud requires vigilance and caution. Some steps you can take to protect yourself include using strong passwords for all your accounts, regularly checking your credit report and bank statements for any suspicious activity, being cautious when investing your money, and being suspicious of any unsolicited emails or messages asking for personal information. If you do fall victim to financial fraud, it's important to act quickly. Contact your bank or credit card company immediately to report the fraudulent activity and then report it to the appropriate law enforcement agencies, such as the Federal Trade Commission or the police. The faster you act, the more likely you are to recover your stolen money or prevent further losses. Section 2. Protecting Yourself From Financial Fraud Now that you know what financial fraud is, let's talk about how you can protect yourself. Financial fraud is a serious issue that can have significant consequences for individuals and families. It can lead to loss of money, identity theft, and even ruined credit scores. Therefore, it's important to take steps to protect yourself from financial fraud. Here are some ways to protect yourself. 1. Be vigilant. The first step to protecting yourself from financial fraud is to be vigilant. Always be cautious of any unsolicited emails or messages asking for personal information. Scammers often send fake emails or messages pretending to be a legitimate institution, such as a bank, and asking for personal information. They may also try to lure you into clicking on a link that will lead you to a fraudulent website. To protect yourself, never provide personal information over email or text message. Legitimate institutions will never ask you for personal information over these mediums. If you receive an email or message that looks suspicious, do not click on any links or provide any information. Instead, call the institution directly to verify the request. 2. Use strong and unique passwords. Another way to protect yourself from financial fraud is to use strong and unique passwords for all your accounts, especially financial accounts. Avoid using the same password for multiple accounts, as this can make it easier for fraudsters to access multiple accounts if they obtain one password. A strong password should be at least 12 characters long and include a combination of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Consider using a password manager to keep track of all your passwords. 3. Regularly check your credit report and bank statements. Regularly checking your credit report and bank statements is another way to protect yourself from financial fraud. This will help you identify any unauthorized transactions or accounts. You are entitled to one free credit report per year from each of the three major credit reporting agencies, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. You can access these reports at annualcreditreport.com. Check your credit report for any accounts or transactions that you don't recognize. Similarly, 
Check your bank statements regularly for any suspicious activity. If you notice any unauthorized transactions or accounts, report them immediately to your bank or credit card company. 4. Be cautious when investing your money. Investment fraud is a common form of financial fraud. Scammers may try to lure you into investing in a fake or fraudulent scheme, promising high returns. To protect yourself, be cautious when investing your money. Do your research and only invest in legitimate and well-known companies. Be wary of anyone promising high returns or asking for large sums of money upfront. Never invest in something that you don't fully understand. 5. Take action if you've been a victim of financial fraud. Despite your best efforts, you may still fall victim to financial fraud. If this happens, it's important to act quickly. The first step is to contact your bank or credit card company and report the fraudulent activity. They will likely freeze your account and investigate the matter further. Next, report the fraud to the Federal Trade Commission and your local law enforcement agency. The FTC will help you create a recovery plan and guide you through the process of restoring your identity. Section 3. Taking action if you've been a victim of financial fraud. If you believe that you have fallen victim to financial fraud, it is important to take immediate action to limit the damage and prevent further losses. In this section, we will discuss the steps you can take if you have been a victim of financial fraud. Step 1. Contact your bank or credit card company. The first thing you should do if you suspect that you have been a victim of financial fraud is to contact your bank or credit card company. Notify them of the fraudulent activity and ask them to freeze your account or credit card to prevent further losses. They will likely ask you to provide them with any information you have regarding the fraudulent activity, such as the date, time, and amount of the unauthorized transaction. Step 2. Report the fraud to the Federal Trade Commission. The Federal Trade Commission is the government agency responsible for protecting consumers against fraud, deception, and unfair business practices. If you have been a victim of financial fraud, it is important to report it to the FTC as soon as possible. You can file a complaint online at ftc.gov slash complaint or by calling 1-877-FTC-HELP. Step 3. File a police report. Reporting the fraud to the police is important because it can help you document the fraud, which can be useful later on if you need to prove that the fraudulent activity occurred. In some cases, the police may also be able to help you recover your lost funds or catch the perpetrator. Step 4. Check your credit report and dispute any errors. Checking your credit report is important because it can help you identify any unauthorized accounts or loans that have been opened in your name. If you find any errors or unauthorized accounts, you should dispute them with the credit reporting agencies. You can do this online at annualcreditreport.com or by calling the credit reporting agencies directly. Step 5. Monitor your accounts and credit report regularly. Even after you have taken the above steps, it is important to continue monitoring your accounts and credit report regularly. This can help you identify any further unauthorized activity and take action quickly if necessary. Step 6. Consider placing a fraud alert or credit freeze on your accounts. If you are concerned about further fraud occurring, you may want to consider placing a fraud alert or credit freeze on your accounts. A fraud alert notifies lenders that you may be a victim of fraud and prompts them to take extra precautions to verify your identity before approving any new accounts or loans. A credit freeze, on the other hand, prevents lenders from accessing your credit report, which can help prevent new accounts or loans from being opened in your name. Next, report the fraud to the Federal Trade Commission and your local law enforcement agency. The FTC will help you create a recovery plan and guide you through the process of restoring your identity. In conclusion, financial fraud is a serious issue that affects millions of people each year. But with some simple steps, you can protect yourself and your finances from fraudsters. Be vigilant, use strong passwords, regularly check your accounts, and be cautious when investing. And if you do fall victim to fraud, act quickly and report it to your bank, the FTC, and your local law enforcement agency. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.